Hey all you cool cat and cats and kittens out there. Welcome to Brian's Cocktail Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a couple of drinks. We're going to be making a strawberry mint refresher and a Bry Thai. It's just a Mai Thai where Brian makes it. So let's start. So you want to get the glass, this is for the strawberry refresher by the way. You're gonna get your glass of uh, ice half full. And we're gonna start by adding two shots of premium vodka. I use Portland potato vodka. And this is a really nice refreshing drink. So two shots in there. And then just some lime juice. However much you want, it's really up to you to make it taste how you like it. And then we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna get our uh, muddling ingredients together. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, which is just used to crush up the ingredients, you can just use a bowl and a uh, thick walled glass. So we got about five strawberries chopped up. And we're gonna get those mashing. Now, I've been doing a lot of hard work for you guys, testing out all these different cocktails during this quarantine. Wait, it's all right, people can just join as they come. And then uh, mint. And you just use about one sprig of mint and all the leaves on it. You just pull all the leaves off. I'm gonna add that in there. And this just crushes it up and releases all the essential oils inside of it. Hi, Macy. Alrighty. So then that just goes right into the top of the glass. Okay, now, this next step is important. We will be adding some spritzer to it, but if you shake it first, you're gonna have a pressure bomb on your hands. It's gonna make a big mess. You just shake up all the ingredients. This is important, it's gonna get all the strawberry flavor mixed in with the vodka and the lime juice and the mint. I'm just give it a little tap on the side of the counter. Lime seltzer water right in the top. And just give it a quick little mix. You're gonna garnish with a lime wedge and a strawberry sliced down the middle. Just like that. And a straw. And there you have a strawberry spritzer. Very refreshing on a hot day like this. If you wanna make it non-alcoholic, you just add uh, more uh, seltzer water and no vodka. All right. Moving on to the next drink, a Bry Thai, which is, it's a Mai Thai where Brian makes it. Uh, one thing I've been doing to make it kind of fun. Where are, oh, here they are. These are uh, cubed fresh pineapple frozen, and I've been using them instead of ice cubes. It gives it a really fresh pineapple taste, and it doesn't water down your drink. So you want to fill it pretty well up. About like that with a frozen pineapple juice or frozen pineapple cubes. And I've been using just uh, white rum, whatever brand. My mother-in-law really likes the coconut Bacardi, but I prefer just the white rum. And we're gonna add two shots of this. And a shot of triple sec, which is an orange liqueur. Uh, a more popular brand is Grand Marnier, but it's much more expensive than the Triple Sec, so I just use this. Really nice orange flavor to it. It's just a liqueur. Okay, next up we've got orange juice. 
And just so you guys can see it, we're gonna fill it up to about three quarters of the way like that. And then we've got pineapple juice. And we're gonna fill it till it's about half an inch from the top. And we get our shaker cup. If you don't have a shaker cup, you just use a bigger glass than what you're mixing in. Or you can stir it with a stick. And we just give it a nice shake. Anything with citrus when you're making cocktails, you wanna shake it. Anything uh, that doesn't have citrus, you typically stir it so it doesn't bruise the alcohol inside. But the citrus really likes to be shaken up. Separate that. And then we're gonna take our shot glass again. We're gonna do half a shot of grenadine. And half a shot of sweet lime juice. That goes right in the top. And that kind of adds a nice color to it, which you'll mix up. And then one thing that I learned when we were in Disneyland at the resort, they do um, brown rum floaters. And so it's just a spiced rum and you just pour just a little bit on top and that stays on top. So when you drink, you get a nice little flavor up on the top. And straw. I didn't have any tiny umbrellas, but you can certainly do that. And there you go. Uh, Bry Thai, my take on a Mai Thai. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just two quick cocktails. I've got the recipes in my original post, so you can take a look at it. They're really refreshing, really good. And again, this one, same thing. If you don't want it to be an alcoholic beverage, just don't add the alcohol and add more uh, juice. This one's really good with the seltzer water as well if you want it to be sparkling. There you go, guys. I hope everybody's having a great week. I hope you guys continue to just keep pushing on through these times. If anybody needs any help with anything or just needs a recipe for a cocktail, give me a call. I'm here for you. Have a great weekend, guys. Have a great day.